Hey YouTube, I wanted to come at you all with a quick video of a couple of things that I've been using the past month, month or so. Um, first, let me show you. They're kind of dirty. But I, at my local HEB, that's a drugstore here in Texas, they just got a stock of elf brushes in. And I think these are from the professional line. I think they were $3. And they're the powder brushes with the flat top. And I went, and at first I got one. Then I went back and got another one after I read the reviews. And these are really good. I use it to stipple on my foundation, then blend it, then I use it for my powder. Then I went back and got a second one, which I use for my blush. So I've been liking these two elf powder brushes. Also, as far as my summer foundation, um, I almost, I, I had to retire my MAC Studio Fix for a while because this is my winter uh, foundation and I think it's a bit too heavy for the summer. So I've been using my MAC Pro Longwear, or oh, excuse me, the MAC Pro Longwear, and I'm an NC45. And my Makeup Forever HD, which I'm kind of almost out of and I need to get some more of that. Those are my two summer foundations, which I need to get some more. And my, as for my primer, I'm using my Shadow Shadow Insurance. I think it's by Too Faced, and I really like this. When I got my Naked Palette, which I've been using a lot of too, I got a sample of the Urban Decay. So I haven't used that yet. It's still in my closet. But as far as the Naked Palette, I've been using this a lot. I actually have on a look today. Um, let me see. I have Virgin as my highlight, Buck on the lid, and in my crease I have Smog. And this is Virgin. Naked is one of my favorites as well. Buck and smog. You can go outside. Mm -hmm. And dark horse I use too. Gunmetal. Carl, you can go outside. Gunmetal has a lot of fallout. Creep has a lot of fallout. And I like toasted. I use toasted when I'm looking for that good um, pink look. But Naked Palette is something I've been going to for the last um, month or so, a couple of months. Um, as far as makeup, I think that's about it for makeup. And I still reach sometimes, I haven't tried it out for the summer, but I have my photo ready, my Revlon photo ready. And this works good too, but I don't know about the summer. I'm going to have to give it a try. I might test this out tomorrow for um, a summer foundation. But the uh, HD, the Makeup Forever, that was my best go-to last year for my summer foundation. And let's see, he don't want to. My son don't want to start nothing until I start making a video. Okay, let's move on to fragrance. Fragrance-wise, I've been using Juicy, Juicy Couture Couture, and I have lotion. And I found both of these at TJ Maxx. This was $9.99. And this is a good size for $9.99. And the perfume, I think I paid... I'm going to pay $20, $30 for it. And this is a good size bottle, but I'm almost out. So, I need to go back and get some more. But this is a good summer fragrance. And my Black Unforgivable... Unforgivable Woman Black by Sean John. I like this scent too. And those are two scents I've been rocking really for the summer. The spring, because it's not summer yet for the spring. And as far as makeup, I've been in the lipsticks and blushes lately. Those are things that I've been buying a lot of. One of them that I've fallen in love with is my Revlon, the Siren. And it's a red, it's an orange. And here's a swatch of that. You can see that orange. And I use that with my cork lip liner to kind of tone it down a little bit. 
and that gives me a good look, everyday look and I use that for work I need to get an orange um, lip line I heard NYX has one I want to say it's called orange and I think I'm going to try that give that a try the lipstick that I have on now which was by accident I was just digging in the car because I forgot I hadn't eaten I hadn't put on any lipstick and I was just driving and I grabbed nope this isn't the one well this isn't the one I got on now but this is Airy, Airy Fairy and that was the talk God, I've used almost all that. I use this a lot um, for the winter and I really like this is a good pale pink and there it is right there and I like that one that's one I've used and most of these these are all in my lips in my makeup bag because sometimes I choose my lipstick on my way to work another one that I grabbed um, this month is Fashionista and this is by Essence and I think with these were like a dollar and forty nine cents and it's like a goldish color with shimmer and here's a swatch of that right there like I said, it was a dollar and forty nine cent, which wasn't bad. So I saw a girl on YouTube had it, and I went and just looked for that um, when I was in the grocery store. This is the one I have on today, and I reached for this in the car. Heather Shimmer, and I picked this up a long time ago when CVS had some of their Rumble lipsticks on sale, and I picked this up. And here, and it's almost like a purplish. I don't know if my camera is picking it up. Probably not. But. When I put it on a day, I looked in the car. I kind of liked it, so. I was like, I need to start wearing that more. Because I buy these lipsticks and they just sit. Another thing that I've been using a lot is my Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. And I don't have one on a day. I'm going to put some more right quick. I really like it. And it gets the bottom lashes really well. And it doesn't smear. It doesn't smear at all. And I have it in black. And you see the um, little brush? So it's able to get all of those. I don't know if you can tell. I can't tell. My camera's not good. But this was $10. And it's the Clinique Bottom, bottom Lash Mascara. And I really like this. And as far as my lip liners, I only really have two. I have my MAC Cork. And I don't really use this one anymore. Um, my NYX in Natural. And I, I hardly use this one anymore. Mostly I just go to my cork. And that's it for my lipsticks and my makeup bag. On to fingernail polish. A lot of fingernail polish. Um, I've been trying to go for the springy colors, the vibrant colors. Um, I've been into the crackle. As you can see right now, I have on the Silver Shatter. Now, I have the Silver Shatter with the China Glaze Snow as the base. And I did it diagonal. And see, my pinky, I did the regular way, straight up and down. Then in a swooping motion, I used that to go across. And that's how I got those. And I really like, I've got a lot of compliments on that. And I was just trying out the combinations because that's the thing with the um, silver and, and any of that crackle. you got to have the right combinations to give it that pop. So this is my silver that I purchased. And I also went out and got some of the China Glaze. I mean China Glaze. I have all the China Glazes, which I haven't used but the gray and the white. And I tried a couple of swatches that I'm going to show you all with the pink. I got the Sally Hansen Crackles. I got the Distress Denim and the Antique Gold. And I did a couple of swatches. Because I heard the brushes, and the brushes are really small. You just have to make sure you get a lot. It's just like a regular polish brush. Versus, you, you know, OPI are known for their wide brushes versus this wide brush. So, yeah. You can see the difference in it. See? Side by side. And you do get a better application with the OPI. And here are a couple of swatches that I did with some of that crackle. 
this is one it's a, that pink china glaze um, crackle I think it's called pink shock I could be wrong I think it's called pink shock and my base was china glaze electric pineapple which is from their recent collection then I did uh, white as my base the same snow that I used for this and I used the distressed denim that's how that came out and then I used the anti gold over top of this OPI Oscar to me orange Osaka to me orange and I used that on because I'm trying to I want to do an orange look orange nail look since I've been wearing that um, Siren by Revlon and another polish is my Teenage Dream this is from Katy Perry I recently picked this up I found it in my local store and um, I should have got it when it first came out but that was one of my wants one of my wants so I went on and got that when I saw it I also picked up the Red Shatter and the Pretty Pink Pretty Rally Pretty Pink I picked up that combo now I don't care too much for the combination together but I picked up the red because I think I use that red a lot in the winter time but a girlfriend of mine used this yellow this metal yellow as the base and she put the red shadow on and it came out good so that's something that I probably use and I picked up Mermaid's Tears from the OPI Pirates of the Caribbean collection and I like this color this is a great color and another color that I've been wearing lately is the lightest air and I like that and it's by China Glaze and Sally Hansen I love these extreme wears they wear really well and the colors are true to color I have the real teal bubblegum pink and mint sorbet and my oh I'm down to a little bit of this this is a good color that I got last year this time Splash of Grenadine nice color and that's it those are all my spring and my April March April um, things I've been really going for picking up recently so I hope you enjoyed the video um, I might have a few other things next week because it is my birthday next week so I might be able to come at you all with a haul oh another thing I want to show you a blush that I've been using this is um, Cheek Glow, Sutton NYC Cheek Glow, Sutton Place Peach. It's a matte, um, cut, no shimmer. But it's th I stopped using it for a while because I really didn't see it. See it, but once in the sun, I noticed in the spring and stuff, I'm starting to see it more. Just as a highlight, and it's real light. And I'm an NC45 C7, and this works really good. And it was real cheap, so I've been using this a lot lately as a blush. And my bronzer, I still use my Mineral Life Skin Finish by MAC. Oh, as far as the primer, I've been using the Sheer Envy Hard Candy. I like this primer. And today I put on the Studio Secrets. Because this was getting hard to find, so I had to pick up the Studio Secrets to tie me over until I found this. But this I got from Walmart, and it works really well as a primer for the price. They went up on it. But when I used to use it, it used to be like five dollars. Now I think it's like six or eight. And this was expensive. But I haven't had it for, but I don't use it every day. But I don't like how you have to dig in it. I prefer the tube that you squeeze out. So that's it. That that should do it. I won't start up again. Alright, YouTube. See you later.